Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about the case of Johnny Young, this guy who is a 25 year old man who self describes as an involuntary celibate. I'm sure you guys know, most of you know what those people are, but in case you didn't, in case you needed a refresher, I'm going to read out the Costa Mesa Police Department's description of what an involuntary celibate is. And the Costa Mesa Police Department is the department that's issuing the arrest warrant for this guy because that's where he committed the crime that is leading to his arrest. They say that involuntary celibates are people who are not sexual active because no one wants to have sex with them and they typically express um, extreme resentment and hostility to people who are sexually active so this guy I actually learned about this case when I was on a moist critical stream but that's like penguins zero I, I always get so confused about what to call him because he has so many different names across many different platforms but I was on Charlie from moist critical streams and he was talking about this for just a short period of time it's a very condensed version of what the story was but basically this guy is getting arrested because he was verbally harassing some women in a parking lot at like 3 a.m. in the morning and they defended themselves against his verbal harassment and he took out pepper spray and sprayed one of them in the face yeah and when I was watching Charlie's stream I was thinking that this was the first time that he did this that he took out pepper spray and sprayed someone and that's why he's getting arrested but no he actually this is like a whole shtick like he he did this three or four times before and he was actually um, known to the police in November when he started when people started reporting these sort of incidents he has like a whole persona online around harassing people in general and just filming it when he's harassing them I've watched like some of the videos that are still up online because most of his social media accounts are gone now most of them he deleted himself but his YouTube I believe was banned or was taken off a few months ago but it's pretty hard to tell if he's playing like completely putting on a character when he's doing those videos or if that's just his personality and he sort of just ramps it up if he's like just creepy <laughs> in general in real life and he just ramps it up when he films these videos but anyway it comes off as like really creepy and strange i'm gonna show you if i can still find it i'm gonna show you the video that landed him in big trouble and there's now an arrest warrant out for him um it's this video my fat ass cock is ready to get hard for yeah, you. Cops are coming right Why now. would you call the cops on me, bro? I'm yeah. just speaking. It doesn't matter. Fuck you, you little bitch, you little boy. Oh, you little. Well, what's wrong with you? Chill out. Back chill out. Chill out. Hey. Back the fuck up. Chill out. Back the fuck up. Chill out. Back the fuck up. Chill out. You just kick me in the balls. You back up. You back up. You back up. Throw that at me. You're gonna. And like I said before, this is a whole shtick. Like he would push them and push them and say increasingly inflammatory things until they get tipped off the edge and then they, if they respond in an aggressive way or in any physical sort of way or if they're, they get too close to him and he feels threatened somehow, even though he's like in their face all the time. If they fight back, he will pull out like pepper spray, spray that he always carries around and spray them in the face. Some of you might know this, but pepper spray is like super painful as well. In Charlie's stream, I think he, he left out most of the story because he doesn't want to draw more attention to this or maybe there wasn't um, that much information out yet because since that stream um, more information has come out but this guy has a prolific history online of doing this sort of thing he had like various media platforms he had a tiktok account with the alias um, jay rockefeller which he according to lieutenant everett who's in charge of this whole case he removed himself last december of 2021 because he posted like confrontations with fast food workers and he he was like harassing Burger King employees over like a chicken order or something and then he sold he sells like those prank videos to other sites like ridiculousness and for that video the video harassing the Burger King worker he got like 300 US dollars for that um, video alone allowed to refuse service so I'm gonna tell the owner you're fucking losing money because we want to make a big order of food. Give me the fucking chicken or I'm going to cause a scene. Get your owner here. You're going to lose money and get fired. We ordered food and you want to refuse it. Look at you. You're telling me you're not being rude? Fuck you. Give me my chicken. I came 30 miles to get a fucking chicken. Kiss my ass and call your fucking owner, bitch. You like Google reviews? 
Come I'll on. come here right now, come motherfucker. On. Come on, bro. You're a wild ass. You're getting fired. Fucking Give me my chicken. I drove 30 miles to get my fucking chicken. You're fucking crazy white people. Nah, you just brown as fuck. That's why you're working in McDonald's, bitch, because your IQ doesn't let you for shit except working. Give me my fucking chicken! I came here to eat! 30 miles! Give my fucking food! And he has also been in jail before. So he, in 2019, he got a conviction for threatening to shoot up a Las Vegas nightclub with another guy, another man, um, after the pair declared themselves as white supremacists. And in the same video as well, he was also filming a security guard um, while antagonizing them and like saying a bunch of shit to them and also carrying pepper spray in that instance as well. And he actually landed in jail for one month after that whole fiasco and also he was banned from going anywhere near hotel casino properties in the strip in Las Vegas as well but then he continued to just violate that ban and go and hang around like he would literally <laughs> he would literally sit around in parking lots and outside of hotel casinos and just wait for women to go out so that he could, could like harass them <laughs> and what annoys me about this too is that his YouTube channel was only banned a few months ago when this has been going on for years and years I don't know it's just when I was younger I used to think that every single channel that gets taken down off of YouTube is taken down for a reason, like they have a legitimate reason to take down those channels, but then looking at it at the way that they will apply their rules to certain channels and then leave people like this guy and then lots of other bigger prank channels that are clearly making the people in them like super uncomfortable and bordering on a criminal they'll just leave it up until shit hits the fan and then they'll take it down later but then they'll over police other channels like their censoring of like true crime channels and so on regarding incidents with the women this guy actually was on the police radar the police technically knew about him in november of last year already which some have pointed out is quite disturbing to think that they knew about what this guy was doing but they failed to catch him until until now like they're renewing the search for him but they didn't take him into custody even though they knew he was doing this in November so in November November 21st at around um 1 25 a.m this guy always like, does it at night as well which makes it additionally creepy but around um 1 25 he pepper sprayed two people and I don't have a video of that so I'm just going to describe it but he pepper sprayed two people at like a local bar so the one woman said that she saw the woman who was 29 years old said that she saw a guy who was 24 at the time on the ground and stopped to help him and then Johnny Young came up to her and started verbally harassing her with explicit language saying that he wanted to see her genitals and then asked to have sex with her and then the man the 24 year old man who was on the ground saw that Young was harassing this woman and rushed over to help her Young then allegedly pepper sprayed him in the face and then just booked it ran away before the authorities arrived and the other two incidents was the harassing of the woman in the parking can I hang out with you? That guy just stole my cell Where'd he go? Newport Coast? Huh? Can I hook up with you? What kind of vagina do you have? Is it an innie or an Audi? Does it have beef curtains? I'm gonna call the cops if you don't. Mm, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. You're annoying, dude. Why are you calling me? Because I wanna fuck. And also the one where in April was the one where it was the group of women sitting in sitting at the bench on the Triangle Retail Center in Costa Mesa. With all of this combined, this guy is, according to the Los Angeles Times, Young has been charged with six counts of hate crime, six counts of assault with a deadly weapon, and three counts of discharging tear gas. When I'm filming this, the arrest warrant is still out, but they haven't found him yet. And this is because well, this is partly because he doesn't have a clear address, I don't think. He lives out of a van, and I'm, I'm gonna pop a picture of the um, police announcement up here, but a green van, and he lives out of that van, which they also believe doesn't have a license plate. And the police think that he might still be living out of this van, or if not, he's living with one of his friends, which makes him a little bit more difficult to find. And that's why they're asking for the public to help them out with this, sort of, this search as well. And even though I can't find anyone defending this guy, it is very difficult to defend somebody like this obviously but I have seen people talking about or discussing the situation surrounding the women especially about how he was just 
talking. He wasn't, he, he was obviously being very aggressive and like verbally harassing them, but a lot of people think that they, she shouldn't have kicked him first because up to that point, everything was just verbal, but I don't think I agree with that at all because if you look at the video again, he's like right up in her face, like he's, he's leaning over one woman, the woman who kicked him, he's leaning over her to like talk down at the, the other girl that she was sitting with and he was like up in her face like this, like this close to her face and especially at night as well. You don't know what his intentions are, it's very creepy and like strange. The things he's saying is really disgusting too. And also a subset of this argument is that some people are like, well, just look at their clothes. J trying to imply that they were asking for it or that they were hookers or whatever, which I don't understand <laughs> like why you would even bring, that would even be relevant to this conversation at all because so what if she was a hooker? Like, so what if she was a prostitute? We don't know that. You can't just be judging people by their clothes. It's like Las Vegas, people dress very liberally or whatever, but you don't know that. And so what if they were? She should just sit there and like take it while this guy is like it up in her face saying some of the most disgusting things ever. I think, I think she, I think she had every right to defend herself. Maybe it was wrong to get physical, but I think it's understandable in that circumstance and also to respond to that with pepper spraying her in the face and knowing that he does this over and over all the time, he would carry pepper spray. I think that's why he was so confident in being so nasty and creepy and like getting up in people's faces because he knew that he had that to fall back on so that if they were aggressive back towards him, he could like attack them first, I guess. But um, I'm just so relieved that this guy is finally getting arrested. This thing, he's been doing this for years and years as well and making obviously a lot of money out of it. For one video, he got 300 US dollars for a video of him like harassing a Burger King employee. So I just wanted to talk about it because I found it pretty interesting. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye.